Welcome, Untamed TV fans. This is your host, Craig Bielik, with another episode. Thanks for joining us, by the way. And what a great day for you to join us because we have a good friend of mine and a, a very accomplished man in our community. This is Michael Palumbo, who is with the Chamber uh, Orchestra Ogden. Did I say that right? Exactly. Because I, I goof it up sometimes. Sometimes <laughs> so I say Chamber Ogden does. Orchestra or whatever, but musical director for the Chamber Orchestra Ogden. And mm -hmm. I'll bet a bunch of you out there don't even know who that organization is or what they do. And that's why we've got Mike on the show today to sort of explain that. We're also going to talk about an upcoming event because you need to mark your calendar. January 27th at the Perry's Egyptian Theater these guys are going to be performing what we call the Red Dress Concert with Ogden Regional Medical Center as the host, among others. And, um, oh, I'm just still in the thunder. I invite you onto the show, and then I do all the talking. <laughs> and that's it. I'm that's zipping fine. it. You're I'm better zipping at it, Mike. You, you take over. <laughs> you tell us what it is that you guys do, and, and, uh, and we'll go from there. All right. Well, the orchestra is a semi-professional community-based orchestra uh, consisting of 55 to 60 musicians, depending on a concert. We play uh, three regular concerts a year, and we, uh, uh, we pay the musicians a little bit of money. It's, it's not much, but sort of a pat on the back for, for performing. Uh, this particular concert coming up is a, is a special one, of course, every time we do the Red Dress. Uh, right. we, have, we have three... Uh, uh, soloists that are going to be performing with the, uh, on this concert. Um, our principal horn, Steve Park, is going to play a piece. Um, and incidentally, we're calling the concert from the hearts of our musicians. Okay. Uh, sort of in keeping with the uh, American Heart Month. Theme. Right. I mean, that is something we probably should mention is the timing right. of this concert is to promote American Heart Month, which is in February. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, a month that's kind of set aside each year to raise awareness about heart health, uh, heart issues, those sorts of things. It's February, heart, Valentine, you know, the whole bit. Get it all at once. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, our other two soloists um, are uh, one of our clarinet players in the orchestra, Kerry Richardson, and then Ryan Bell, who's our principal bass player. They're going to play an interesting piece of music by uh, a composer by the name of Botticini. Botticini wrote this for clarinet and bass duet and piano accompaniment, and these two young people took this piano part and they arranged it for string orchestra and really? so we're going to we're going to uh, play with them uh, on this uh, on this piece that's yeah. probably harder than it sounds I, I think oh, most people go well a note's a note if, mm. uh, you know a, a C sharp on the piano is a C sharp on the strings right but it's not it doesn't work quite that way right not quite no because you have to know where to put it in the range of the instruments and which instruments to play what parts and yeah. so uh, there's a lot of work involved uh, and they did a really great job on it I'm I'm really impressed. So describe your part of this. I mean, when people ask me, I sure. always say you're the dancer because you're you're like up in front. All I can see is the back, and you're and you're. <laughs> but I don't think that's what you're doing. I mean, <laughs> I tell people that's what it is, but it's not, is it? Well, some people would say that the role of a conductor is to give the downbeat, and then when the music is over, turn around and bow and collect all the credit for it. Wow. But actually, my job uh, as the conductor is uh, uh, mostly done before. The concert starts. I do my work in the rehearsals, being sure that everything is put together uh, correctly. Of course, it's quite easy with my group because they're really good players. Right. But uh, that's that's what I do. When I get on the podium at the concert, there's not much I can do if something goes wrong. But you, but if I understand your role right, you've rehearsed all this stuff out. You've talked with everybody. You've said we need more oh, yes. bassoon in this part or violins. You guys are too. Is, do you guys have a bassoon? <laughs> I, yes, I don't even a, know what a bassoon is. We have two or three, depending on the concert. Okay. Yeah. But, so you've rehearsed all that out. Right. And you're really kind of the coach now at the game. And yeah. and if you don't feel like somebody is as high as they need to be, you might go like this. Yes. Or yeah, in the concert, I'll <clears throat> ask somebody to get a little louder or a little softer. Uh-huh. Um, but hopefully most of that is rehearsed to the point where everybody's ready for the concert and they know what the volume level is. Of course, we can't rehearse on stage because of the cost of it. Right. So we rehearse in, a, in the rehearsal room, which is a really good room, but it's not quite the same uh, sound as being the on stage. The acoustics are always different. So we have to adjust a little bit. But uh, again, right. I have good players, and they, they do a great job with that. Yeah. You like what you do. I do like what I do. That's why yeah. I still do it since I'm retired. Yeah. And how long, <laughs> how long have you done this? Um, well, I started this orchestra in 2011. 
So we're going on our um, seventh, seventh year, year now. Yeah. Um, but of course, my, my principal job was always as uh, conductor of, and viola teacher at Weaver State. Right. I did that for 31 years. And then before that, I guess I've been teaching since college teaching for about 42 years wow. before I retired. Uh, it was a great life. I loved it. You play an instrument yourself? Viola. The viola? Viola. That's okay. my instrument. That's why you gave me the stink yeah. eye when I said bassoon. You wanted me to say viola. You <laughs> that's were right. like, I, hey, wanted, I wanted your viola. I want to, I want to talk about the violas. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> How can people find out more about you, Mike? Well, you know, we have a website, uh, chamberorchestraogden.org. Uh-huh. And you can go to that, and it tells all about our concerts, and there's a list of the musicians, and uh, uh, just all kinds of uh, things that, t that you can learn, learn about the orchestra. Right. Sure. I, I need to say this. I mean, I've, I've been to a few of your shows, which, mm -hmm. which are wonderful. I mean, they really are. Thank you. And Thank the you. other thing is, is they're pretty inexpensive. I mean, are, are you guys are like $8 a ticket or something? $8 like a ticket. Yep. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's less than a movie. Oh, I mean, yeah. you know, for live music and everything mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. You can get your tickets at Brown Paper Tickets uh -huh. uh, on the Internet or um, at, the, at the door the night of the concert. Right. Yeah. Right. So, again, just to, just to in case you didn't catch it, because we kind of – parsed it out in little bits. It's the Red Dress Concert with the Chamber Orchestra Ogden. It's January 27th of 2018, 7.30 p.m. at Perry's Egyptian Theater, right downtown. Beautiful place, beautiful room. Oh, it's great. Exactly what you want. Great music. Three soloists this year. Right, and then two other pieces we're doing uh, right. with the orchestra as well. Mozart 38th Symphony, and we'll finish up with Tchaikovsky's March Slav. That's awesome. Uh, tickets are eight bucks. You can get them at brownpapertickets.com, yep. or you can go to the Chamber Orchestra Ogden's website, and well, you can't buy tickets there. You, no, but, but no. you can link to it. Right? Yeah, right. Right. Yes. Oh, absolutely. And get information, and for their other shows too. Yes. For their other shows, Mike yes. is. It's a pleasure to have you on here. Well, today. thank you very much. It's been very nice to be here. No, no, I and I want to I I want to know what a viola is. I actually don't. Is that the little violin? Yeah, no, it's actually the violin, and then there's the viola is a little bit longer. As uh, some of my friends would say, well, you know, the difference between a violin and a viola is the viola burns longer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're I friends. would not say that. I, those are your friends. <laughs> yeah. I mean, let's take note of that. Those you're, are his friends that enemies. are saying that. Oh. That's that's fine. Well, how's that for a music lesson, Untamed Television fans? This is your host, Craig Bielik. My guest today, Michael Palumbo. What a pleasure. We hope to see you all at the Red Dress concert on January 27th. And if not, mm -hmm. maybe we'll see you at the other concerts, too. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you from the bottom of my viola. <laughs> for joining Thank you. Us. <laughs> Hey!